All right. I think that vowels feels maybe more like it's like a collaborative experiment. So I'm trying to figure out a way to like keep it more like the focus is on the work and not on who is making the work. That ties into a little bit of like how we approached the design of the face. And we talked a lot about how can we envision something that is drone appropriate, but also feels like an entity or like a monolith coming from outer space to like visit us and, and perform. It's powerful to see something being performed. We interact better with things if, if they appear to be human. And so seeing a face does kind of make you have a more realistic connection with the performance. I felt like I was working on a visual piece of content, giving data and information. And that was really exciting. Once we got your takes and mapped individual points to the face, which were then translated into uh, actual flight paths for 200 drones. You can only go 15 miles per hour tops. When your head is blown up to a 350 foot head, the drones on your bottom lip suddenly have to travel 60 miles per hour. So we had to take the whole thing and slow it down five times and then shoot it and then speed it back up five times so it would match the original lip sync. Tonight, this is the final flight. We're recording it for good for the music video. We're super excited about it. It's been months of hard work with both of us, the guys at Firefly, and we're just really excited to bring this out into the world. To have a song that you've written be performed by something that is like bigger and grander, I think it does really effectively communicate like this is not about the artists, it's about like the song itself and just making something beautiful. Like, I hope that, they, that they're more obsessed with you guys and how you made the visual. Thanks, Josh. For us, we're just hoping people actually believe that it's real. <laughs> I hope that this, for you guys' sake, is not viewed as a hoax, because, like, you really did it.